Hi, my name is Julia Pascoe and uh, I'm from London, England and uh, I'm 44 years old and I grew up with my mum who was Jewish and uh, mum wasn't religious, I grew up in a very non-religious home but the one tradition that mum would pass to me as I grew up is that Jesus wasn't for us. I did learn about Jesus at school but I was never allowed to ask any questions or, or talk about him in our house. Um, so I grew up knowing I was Jewish. Um, I grew up with a notion of God. I, I remember my mother uh, would pray from time to time to the Almighty, but that was the extent of, of my religious background. When I was 16 years old, very unexpectedly, uh, my mum passed away. And I remember from that point, I had no belief in God. Uh, the, the small notion of God that I did have very quickly disappeared. And I began to seek the meaning of life and I began to go down some roads which, when I look back, uh, really weren't very helpful. And I looked into spiritualism, I looked into mediums and psychics and all of that stuff in the desperate hope of trying to find out what happens after we die. And none of it brought me any peace. Um, and after many years of spending a lot of time and money going to these people, I finally realized that it wasn't getting me anywhere. And uh, I, I had a moment in my mid twenties where I believe I, I cried out to God, um, asking for God's help to help me understand my purpose and, and the pain that I'd gone through as a teenager and young adult. And God, very interestingly, um, I think answered that prayer in a way that I didn't expect. He brought a Christian into my life who was committed to sharing the good news about Jesus with me. And not only did she share the, the gospel with me, um, that Jesus died for my sin and he rose from the dead and that I could have eternal life with him if I believed in him and trusted in him. But she also shared the Jewishness of Jesus with me. She knew I was Jewish and she looked at old covenant scriptures with me, uh, prophecies, passages that talked about the coming of the Messiah uh, hundreds of years before he actually came. Um, and she gave me a book to read, a very significant book called Betrayed. It, it was a book written by a Jewish man called Stan Telchin. And his story of how his daughter who was at college comes to faith in Jesus and Stan being a very uh, traditional Jewish man and very well respected in his community and he had a wonderful family and business, um, he set out to win her back to Judaism and to prove her wrong. And uh, as he tried to do this, he, he had to read the Bible for himself. And, and the, this book explained his story of him through searching the Bible, he came to faith in the Jewish, Jewish Messiah, Jesus. Well, as I read this book, I remember being very um, challenged, excited, but also scared because the more I read, the more I started to feel that this really was true, um, that Jesus was the promised Messiah. And uh, I had to make a decision. I read that book and I, I had to make a decision. If this is true, I need to say yes to Jesus. And if it's not true, I need to completely forget about it and ignore it. And uh, it was some weeks after I read Betrayed and, and my friend, my committed Christian friend who was praying for me and continued to have discussions with me, she invited me to a concert, a Christian concert. And uh, I guess I was really worn down by her by this time. She'd been on my case for three years and I said yes to going with her just to keep her quiet. Well, it was at that concert that I actually felt God um, come into my life and I, I had the faith to believe that, that it was Jesus, that he was my saviour and my Lord. And it was at the concert that I asked him to be my Messiah. So that's my story of how I came to believe in him. One thing that my friend said to me was, don't take her word for it. She said, read the scripture for yourself. And I really I'm thankful for that because it was when I actually had the courage to open the Bible for myself, I believe that's when God spoke to me. And one of the most significant verses I read was Jesus' own words 
where he says, I am the way, the truth and the life, and no one comes to the Father except through me. And I wanted a relationship with God. I wanted to know truth. I'd been seeking that for many years through all different channels. And I thank God that he didn't let me go too deeply down those roads, um, that he cared enough for me to show me the truth. Um, so if you're considering um, Jesus, if you, if you have questions, if you're wondering if God really is real and, and you want to know him, I would encourage you to, to look at the Bible, maybe begin in one of the Gospels and read uh, the story of Jesus' life.